Welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. Now, in the last episode, this kind of happened. Ow, oh, oops. <laughs> Never mind. That's fine. Ah, oh, man, what a mess. Well, I think in today's episode, we should uh, not blow things up. Now, apparently, we can get some upgrades on the workstation. Let's have a look. Uh, equipment. I'm gonna read this straight from the manual. <clears throat> Links rewards hard work and learning by giving shipbreakers access to tool improvements and new equipment. So let's get going and learn about one of the most important tools in a shipbreaker's toolbox. Mm -hmm. Tethers. Go ahead and purchase them. Ah, here we go. Tethers. And confirm. Repeat after me, Cutter. Tethers are your friends. Tethers are your friends. Tethers are easy and intuitive to use. Press and hold your grapple secondary trigger to place the first contact point. Drag the connection to another object and release the trigger to complete the connection. Okay. Okay, so let's start the shift. So I guess we go back to training? Let me tell you how to use these things. Tethers are more powerful than the beam in your grapple. They're great for moving super heavy salvage. Try it out. Okay, so we place the tether there. And place him there. So we do the same for him. And the same for him. Great. Now, what if you want to get rid of the tethers you've already placed? There's a cancel command you can send. But take note that it clears all of your tethers. Go ahead and try it now. Down the yeah. deep button. There you go. Ah. Now, you've got unlimited tethers during this training exercise. But after this, when you need more, you'll have to buy them from the kiosk. Let's see how well you can handle them. Try and clear out a bunch of that scrap. Okay, let's give it a go. There we go, that's the better way. Alright, well done. Cool. Oh. Like I said, tethers are your friends. Once you get the hang of them, you can get pretty creative on how you use them. Now, when you're ready, let's go back to the hab and continue with the day. Those tethers weren't fun to use at first, Jesus. Okay, let's see what we got today. Let's start with this one. Cutter, it is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce you to the rest of the crew in our sector. Sound off, everyone. Hey, Rook. Name's Luke. I was the worm until you Hello. showed up. So thank you. Now I get to do the hazing. What are you talking about? We don't do that. Welcome aboard. Don't listen to her. I'm the... Oh, yeah. hey, uh, Kai! Your mic's so <laughs> messed up. Really? How about now? Better. Oh, hey. I'm Kaido. Kai. Mike's so busted. Hi, Kai. Oh, yeah, still waiting on the wreck to get through. Uh, heaven forbid they get functional here. I'm sure they're working on it as fast as they can. Cutter, I added you to the Sector Comms channel. It can get lonely out here. Helps to check in with each other from time to time. All right, enough chin wagon. Let's get back to it. Weave her out. Goodbye. Bye. 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 So this is actually quite a small ship. Okay. I think first thing first, let's get rid of this thruster cap. That's two. Thruster cap's always the easiest one to go for, so might as well go for him. And poof. Also want to check in here. Okay. I also want to check that there's no explosives. Get rid of this food pack. And poof. Got another airlock, I think. Oh no, it's just a maintenance area, okay. Okay, so let's get rid of this computer. And poof! Bye bye, computer! Okay, the structure's in the way, so I'll just get rid of him. Okay, well, he's just gonna have to float around. I can't cut him. Okay, so we get rid of these bits first, which I presume are barge here. 
Ah, so these are cut points. Okay. Well, let's get rid of them. One. Two. Should be able to move it straight down there. Bye, my friend. Let's do the other side as well. There we go. Bring him down there as well. Uh, paid in full oxygen reserve. There we go. There's more smaller stuff in here, which I'll get rid of first. Oof. There's a lot of terminals in here. Sir, you're fixing to dot the eyes and cross the teeth. You got about five minutes to do it. We were out. Five minutes? Oh, Jesus. I didn't even know it was time. Okay, let's get this thing torn apart. Jesus. Okay, that's the bottom panel. Quickly get in there. So no way I'm gonna finish this entire thing in a minute and a half. You got six ticks till this turkey's done, Cutter. Gobble gobble. Yeah, there's no way I'm spanning a whole ship in 60 seconds. Well, that was a bit impossible to do. Okay. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Probably tell him fired. Hey, Rook. I was thinking our crew should crack some beer sometime. You know, shoot the breeze, fantasize about a debt-free life and all that. <laughs> Not that that's gonna happen anytime soon. Like, Weaver's been at this for years. 20, maybe? I was just getting kicked out of grade school when he started. <laughs> anyway, don't want to get a fine for tying up comms? Kidding! That's not a thing. I don't think. Either way, good luck, Rook. Blue out. Right, let's get back to the ship again. Okay, see if we can't still just cut the rest of it. Another food pack. And a section of the roof. It's got access to them, all the smaller stuff in the ship too. Like that door. This computer. Get rid of this floor panel, I think. And poof. Just in a massive rush. For these cable junctions as well. You can do all this in 15 minutes. That's gonna be. You are insane at this game. Alright, Cutter. You got five minutes left in this ship before they turn the lights out on you. Peter Patter. Oh, she's just always low. God, this is horrible trying to do it in time. This is horrible. Come on, I can get this piece in before it ends. Yes. Well, I got half. I definitely got half. Got 15 minutes to do that all. If you can do that in 15 minutes, you are phenomenal at this game. I could have used the tethers, yes, but even then, I think it'd be even slower process to use the tethers. Well, I didn't think this episode would be as short as it is, but. I didn't know it was going to be time, so that's a new one for me. Before I leave though, I will try and see if I can upgrade a few things. And that would be a no. Well, we can always do it another time. I'm going to leave this one here, guys. Sorry to cut it so short, but it is what it is. Usually these ships take a good hour to dismantle, so it's 15 minutes is, uh, is kind of impossible. But it is what it is. Like the video. Because the algorithm likes it. Leave a comment down below. It's always appreciated. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you next time.